Hello. Wow, what an interesting couple of weeks this has been. Something of a roller coaster, you might say, which I think means I shouldn't do this video here. I should do it. Here. Yes, it has been quite a crazy couple of weeks here. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, I tried to go on an 18 miler, which is quite difficult, um, to say the least. God, I've rehearsed this and I've completely lost it. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah. Uh. <laughs> it was horrible. I tried to do 18. Um, I got to 12, um, having started the race, uh, started the run with achy legs, which is crazy. I've just realised where the camera is. Um, <laughs> and basically got to about 12 miles. Had to stop again, which is rubbish. And then, are you alright there, unit? <laughs> um, and then, um, what did I do? Oh yeah, so, uh, you know what, I'm gonna wait yeah, until... <laughs> it's been crazy, I'm gonna explain more when we're off this. <laughs> and we're back, in the flat, as it turns out, yes. Recording on Brighton Pier. On a ride is very difficult, as you saw. Just on the pier is also very difficult, because it sounds like this. So, so although the scenery is lovely, it's kind of hard to hear what I'm saying. A bit better. So we're back in the slightly more dull looking office room. Hooray! But don't worry, I shall regale you with my intellect and charm. That first run uh, a week and a half ago on Sunday, the long one, I tried to do 18. Didn't happen. Um, I was tired from the very beginning. After six miles, I felt like I probably couldn't go on anymore. I made it up to 12 and I had to walk a bit. Ran for another mile, had to walk a bit again. Uh, and then ran for about a mile and a half and got up to 15, um, which was just horrible. And then I'd, I'd, I'd run out of water and I was absolutely parched and I think I just burnt so much energy. Uh, I had to stop off, buy some water and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do another three miles. And it didn't happen. I did one, barely, and had to stop, basically. It was just, you know, in pieces. So that was kind of worrying. And because, you know, as time was going on, the training wasn't getting any better, really. In fact, it was starting to get worse. So went to a physio last week. He identified the fact that my legs were super inefficient because they were super tense and tight and my the base of my spine, the muscles around the bottom of my back as well, were causing issues too. So he did some lovely thing with some needles in the base of my spine into the muscles to stimulate them to contract and then relax. I don't recommend it to anybody. It's not a lovely, experience but after a few days my back was feeling all right again and I've been doing loads of stretches that the physio recommended um, a couple of times a day and I'll be honest I think it's helping because this Sunday I just did 18 miles without stopping yes um, I mean the last mile was like a zombie shuffle pretty much but it was I didn't stop and it wasn't walking technically so I count that as a victory so absolutely chuffed now I'm back on it we're right back on the, the top of the coaster um, and long may that continue I've got one more run to do um, one more long run to do this weekend it's a 20 miler and I think with the stretching I'm actually going to be able to do it now um, and then after that it's a mere 13 miles the weekend after, and then nine miles the weekend after. Pfft, that's nothing. Yeah. The worst thing is, I actually think that's nothing now. It, what, what, what world am I living in? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for all of your support, your ongoing support, um, both financial via this. Thank you so much if you donated already, you are amazing. And also your moral support as ever. It's really, really, uh, really appreciated and keeps it going on the long runs particularly. So thank you so much. And here's to an awesome 20 miler this weekend. Bingo's